What is going on everybody? It's a great day out doing some habitating and I figured, you know what? Probably be a really good day to give a two year update on my cutty back and cutty link system. Now I've owned this, like I said now, for two years and uh, just wanna go over a few things of why I really like it and maybe some of the stuff that I don't like, but yeah, so I have this particular camera. I just purchased a camera yesterday and put it up on a water hole that I put in um, on the north end here and I've been extremely happy uh, with the with the camera so you probably know how it works but this is the home camera here and I bought this particular setup because all the other cameras link in they send it to this one this thing beams it up to a satellite and that satellite beams it to your Gmail and then you get to stare at deer pictures all day so it's been great I haven't had really any issues with it. The picture quality seems pretty good. We've been able to capture everything over the food plots uh, from deer and turkey, bear, um, pretty much using them all year round and have had really good battery life out of them. And I let them go. So I'm in Northern Minnesota here. These cameras do see some pretty extreme weather changes. It was 100 degrees here a week ago and it, I've had them out um, to well below, probably 10, 20 degrees below zero before I had a chance to come up and pull them down for a few months before putting them back out. Now I have the cell, I have the cell phone plan that I think I get 2,000 images, um, 2,000 images a month I think is what it is. Unfortunately, I don't have enough deer around here to to <laughs> to uh, have that problem with exceeding that, but um, I have four cameras like i mentioned and that's in you know this is one of them included so three satellite cameras it seems to be a good plan i don't i think billing wise i mean i think it's pretty reasonable i don't, can't remember what the price is i think it's 200 bucks a year but it seems it seems it seems fair on the home camera here um, i do have a battery pack set up on this so this one i think last year on this particular camera i was able to get gosh, probably nine months out of the batteries that are in it and the battery pack here. I wanna add some battery packs to the, the smaller satellite cameras that are out there, but um, fun. So, <laughs> you know, when you're trying to do all the food plot seed and everything else, you know, slowly pick away at it. As far as issues with it, I've only had one issue and actually that is the reason why I just bought that other camera. So I was having a couple issues with this camera. Um, it was a little little irritating at first. I had to, you know, when you put a camera out, you want it to work. I had to go home, figure it out. I had to come back up. It happened a couple times, but anyways, they got it resolved. Like I said, we I think we take for granted sometimes with our cell cameras or even just cameras in general, they got a rough life. I mean, they're out in the elements. They're electronic item that's seeing snow, rain, hot, cold. I don't even know how they were smart enough to get a picture to send to my phone. So I kind of calmed down and realized, you know what, it's it's probably going to happen. I mean, I, this camera that I'm filming on right now cost, I don't know, probably three times as much as that one. And I won't even let this out, thing out in a sprinkle. And it's really not that nice of a camera. So, but back to the issue and back to what led me to buying the camera that I just put in yesterday. So to me, Customer service is a big thing, um, probably a big thing to you too, but there is a Facebook group called Cuddyback Users Group. Everyone in there seems super knowledgeable, super willing to help, um, answering your questions. I posted some pictures of it and some video of what I was happening, and I, within minutes, this was, this was on a... This was on a Monday evening, mind you, coming back. I got home from the land probably about 8 30 9 o'clock i started posting pictures and video on this facebook group of hey can i get some troubleshooting help and what had happened is mind-blowing next thing i know i got a bunch of people chiming in that are willing to help that are giving information they're giving feedback so if you're watching this and you're one of them i really really appreciate it but what i noticed is there was a guy on there i'm not going to say his name because I don't know it's the internet i don't want people to get weird but kind of did what we all do facebook creeped a little bit and realized that he was one of the head brass over there at cuddyback answering my questions now at this time probably 10 10 30 at night he's answering my questions he basically troubleshooted it and got it fixed i came back up 
So yeah, that's why I ended up buying another one. That's my two year update on the Cuddyback system. I really like it. I think the picture quality is good. I think the functionality and, and you know what you can expect out of them is good. I haven't had any issues with the other cameras linking up. So that's it. If you're looking at a cell phone package, check these one out. I know there's a bunch of them out there, but I'm pretty happy with it. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.